everyone and welcome to the 26th annual GLAD Awards here in New York City at the Waldorf Astoria. We have tons of guests that just passed through the carpet from Anderson Cooper, Kelly Ripa, uh, the Wonder Woman, and also Laverne Cox, Matthew Ross, and many, many more. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Evelyn Monroe and I'm here with Ms. Laverne Cox. You may know her as Sophia from Orange is the New Black. How are you doing, Mama? I'm wonderful. It's lovely to be back at another GLAAD Awards. There's Thomas Roberts and Andrea Pechik. Um, I'm really excited to be here. We're nominated for Laverne Cox Business to T-Word tonight, which won a Daytime Emmy several weeks ago. Um, and some of the cast members are going to be here. My um, co-producer, Eric McLeod, is going to be here tonight. Um, I'm so grateful because these seven young people were so brave and courageous to tell their stories on national television. It's a really scary thing to do and they trusted us and I hope this affirms for them and for everyone out there watching that that trans stories are powerful, they can be life-changing and even life-saving. What advice did you give Bruce, I mean, two months prior to his interview? We, I don't, you know, we, I've spoken about the Jenner situation before and, um, and, and Bruce gave me permission to let people know that we had spoken on the phone. But I think what I want to say is that whenever we have more diverse trans representation in the media, we begin to get an idea of the rich tapestry of who our community is. And so whenever another trans person comes forward and is visible and chooses to tell their story, and it's done in such a nuanced, um, a multi-dimensional way as it was done in the Diane Sawyer ABC interview, then it's a, it's a win for us. I agree. I know you have been a victim of bullying in your teens. What do you, you think us as a society can do to better that and prevent that? I think policies like Assembly Bill 1266 that um, was passed in California um, about over a year ago um, is really an important template that we need to have public policy in place to protect our LGBTQ youth from bullying and then we have, need to have enforcement and, um, and accountability when those, when those policies are not enforced. And then we need, to, we need to love our kids. We need to love our kids no matter what and let them know that they are, are worthy simply because they are. Definitely. Here we have it, guys, with Ms. Laverne Cox. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. Hello, everyone. I'm Evelyn Monroe, and I'm here with Jennifer Boylan. How are you, Mama? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, she is one of the first transgender authors to have a best-selling biography in 2003. Can you tell me how it feels? How does, how does, right now, I'm, I'm high as a kite. Well, I'm not, I'm not on drugs, but I'm high as a kite on the love in this room and uh, on all the progress we've made. It's been an amazing year, hasn't it? Yes, it has, definitely. Well, thank you very oh, much. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody.